Welcome back to Better Living. I'm here with Randy Dixon, the president of the Toledo Bar Association. You always come on and talk to us about free clinics or pro bono work that the Bar Association is doing. This one is an event that doesn't happen until May, but we want to talk about it now because people need to make appointments, right? That's correct. It's a little bit different than a lot of our clinics because we, we are pretty sure there's going to yes. be a lot of, lot of takers on this one. This is the License Restoration Clinic. It's for people that have lost their driver's license for whatever reason, their driving privileges. And it can be a maze mm. of trying to get it back. There's all sorts of reinstatement procedures. And the goal of this clinic is to try to help folks. We can, it looks like we'll probably help probably about a hundred people wow. this af that afternoon that we're doing it. So apparently this affects more people than I would have thought. Why would you get your driver's license suspended or revoked? Well, you know, the, the one that most people know about would be like for points. You know, okay. you get 12 points on your license, there's a license <laughs> suspension. I am glad to say I don't know about this, well, you know, but um, <laughs> some people I might. do drive the speed limit most of the time. Uh, is that, I mean, is a speeding ticket counts as points? Two, two points. Okay. Uh, most most speeding tickets are two points. There can be some aggravating circumstances. If you drive in really, really fast. Uh, honestly, yeah. that's a, yeah. If it's over whatever, I don't even know. Again, don't know what those are. But what are some other reasons you can get points on your license? Well, accidents. Okay. Uh, obviously, if it's a, a DUI, six point. That's a six point offense. And then usually with a DUI, there's a license suspension that comes right. with it. Also. Regardless of the points. Regardless of the okay. points. So. so point totals can get your license revoked. What else? Well, a court suspension like a like a DUI, mm -hmm. the court would suspend your license actually mandatory. Uh, you can lose your license if you refuse a, a test, mm. an alcohol test. Um, it's an automatic one-year suspension. And then there's ways that you, even, even after you've served your suspension, it's not always an easy path to, to get be it back. reinstated. And sometimes people think that it's reinstated and then they're caught driving on a suspended oh. license and all of a sudden there's another suspension that's That would be a top. really bad cycle to get it, into. It can be and the point of the clinic is to try to help people resolve all of those all of those issues so that they can get back in compliance, get their licenses restored, get back to work. Well, that's just it. We so much of what we do depends on the ability to get from one place to the other, whether it's work or kids or grocery shopping. You know, it's really hard if you don't have a means of transportation or can't get somewhere. Um, I think one that perhaps in the past few years has caused more people to have their license suspended as the laws have changed is the whole proof of insurance. That's that's right. You have to. And it's called a random selection. Is actually what it's called. And you can be asked to prove that you have insurance at any time. Normally, it's, you know, if you're stopped for a, a speeding mm -hmm. violation or something like that. But you always have to be able to prove that you have insurance uh, so that if there's an accident that it's going to be right. paid. And then if you don't have enough insurance or, or uh, the state minimum, you can actually get a suspension for not, not having, having the financial responsibility that's tacked on top of it. So. Do I have to, let's say I get pulled over for speeding, and I swear if I'm jinxing myself by asking you this, then I'm going to be in big trouble. We and, know where there's an attorney. Yeah, yeah. so thank heavens. <laughs> uh, what if I get pulled over for speeding and I don't have that insurance card with me? I keep mine in the car, so it's never an issue for me. But mm -hmm. let's say somebody, you know, doesn't have it with, but they have insurance. How long do you have to prove well, that? Or well, normally what will happen in that situation is that right on the ticket it'll say that the proof of insurance was not supplied, okay. then you would have to make a court appearance and the judge okay. would want to see that you are, you are insured. So if you got new insurance cards in the mail and they just haven't made it into your car yet, you're not going to have your license suspended necessarily right away? If you, yeah, not right away. Okay. If you don't address it, that's, it'll yes. automatically happen. That's correct. Okay, well, let's talk about this clinic because I think there are probably a ton of people. Right. Uh, when is it, what time, and how do I make an appointment? It's uh, Thursday, May 14th. Uh, it's from 1.30 till 5, so it's a, it's a long time period. Mm -hmm. You'll want to call the Legal Aid Line. That's 1-888-534-1432. Okay. 
There's going to be 20 attorneys. They're spearheaded by Angelita Cruz Bridges. She's one of the TBA uh, volunteers extraordinaire. She's uh, actually with the U.S. Attorney's Office. And so it's being sponsored by okay. the U.S. Attorney's uh, Office for the Northern District of Ohio. This is also a part of volunteer, the volunteer month. May is the volunteer month for Ohio attorneys, and that's part of the uh, Ohio State Bar Association litigation section. ABLE, L-A-W-O, and the Toledo Bar Association pro bono program. And then we've also got young attorneys that are going to be there. Uh, so it's part of the Toledo Bar Association uh, Young Lawyers Committee. So you're going to be there, right? W yeah. You see how I few, played that a little few bit? few years ago I was there. Thank you. <laughs> well, um, how many appointments do you think you're going to be able to take in that time well, period? Well, it, it should be probably 100. The, okay. We figure there's going to be uh, enough time. I mean, it, these things can get complicated. Sure. And there could be, you know... Uh, suspensions and revocations on top of revocations okay. court I mean it there's some of them are our uh, uh, child support mm. the, the child support you get you can lose you get your, your license, license suspended. there yeah should I plan on a half hour probably for appointment and then obviously if it's more complicated it will be longer yeah that's that's what we're figuring okay. is about a half hour is is what it's gonna take and uh, you may not get it all taken care of right then but you'll be you'll know the path what to, to do to go to yeah excellent I think the this will be a great free clinic this is one of the best ones you've told us about yet so if you are in a situation where you need your license uh not restored. 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 That's yeah. the word I was looking for. All you have to do is call 888-534-1432 to make that appointment today. We'll be right back.